everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick look at a rare G.I. Joe action figure. This is the 1992 Mail Away exclusive Cobra Ninja Viper. I have to thank Thomas Hagen for sending me this figure. It was an extremely generous donation and much appreciated. This is the Cobra Ninja Viper. He was available only through a Mail Away offer in 1992. He was never available at retail, and for that reason, it's a fairly rare figure. And let's get one thing out of the way right up front. This figure is just a recolored Storm Shadow from 1984. They changed Storm Shadow's primary color from white to teal of all colors. It's kind of funny to me. It's been said that white is not a good color for a ninja. So, okay, fine. How do we feel about teal? Other than the colors and the accessories, the sculpting on these two figures is exactly the same. Uh, they did change the stamp on the butt though. Instead of having the date stamp and made in Hong Kong, uh, the Teal Ninja has made in China and an H1. As a straight copy of Storm Shadow, he has the same stuff Storm Shadow does. Uh, he's got some weapons sculpted on his chest. He's got this sash here that is white instead of black. Uh, it's got a red cobra emblem on his chest. Um, and uh, he's got the wrappings on his arms, the mask. Um, your basic ninja stuff. The Ninja Viper came with two swords. They're both the same. These are dark gray. There is an accessories variant. Some Ninja Vipers had light gray swords. And there's another variant. Some Ninja Vipers were released without swords at all. It's frustrating to have a variant figure that does not come with the usual accessories. It means you can have a complete figure, even a factory sealed figure, that a lot of collectors will not consider to be complete because he doesn't have the accessories. There's a mail away variant of Keel Hall and I think a mail away Serpentor that have that same problem. Some of them did not come with one of the accessories and that can really drive up the prices on those accessories as collectors try to complete figures, but there are more figures to go around than there are accessories. Surprisingly, these swords are not copies of the swords that came with the original Storm Shadow. These are reissues of the swords that came with Jinx. Of course, Jinx's swords were in silver plastic, and these are in gray. Another thing I think is funny about the Ninja Viper is Cobra already had ninjas. They had the Night Creepers, released in 1990. They were literally Cobra Ninjas. The Night Creeper predated the Ninja Viper, and there was another version of the Night Creeper released in 1993, so the Ninja Viper is totally redundant. The Night Creeper, though, takes his orders from the Night Creeper leader, while the Ninja Viper gets his orders from Cobra's Department of Redundancy Department. While I have them out here, check out these colors on the Night Creeper. Cobra had a Teal Ninja, and they also had a Plum Ninja. Ninja Viper came with a file card. It was a red back mail-away file card. A lot of mail-away figures came with red back cards. The artwork on the card does not match the details on the figure. I don't know exactly when I will get to a full review of this figure. This is just a quick shot, so I don't want to go into too much detail right now, but when I do review this figure, there will be a lot to say about it. For now, that's just a quick look at the Cobra Ninja Viper. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please consider subscribing to the channel and checking out my other G.I. Joe toy reviews. Thank you to all my patrons and subscribers and everyone who helps make this show happen. I greatly appreciate you being here. I do have full G.I. Joe toy reviews every weekend, so please check back for that. I am on social media on Facebook and Twitter. You can support the channel on Patreon. Patreon and coffee, and I have a website, hcc788.com. I'll be back with another full vintage G.I. Joe toy review this Sunday. I hope to see you then. And until then, remember, no matter what color the ninja is, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe. <laughs>